hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have square root of 9 times of a square is equals to 81 and we solve this problem for the values of a so here first we find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will check that which of these roots are satisfied our given equation or which of these roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root and at the last i can explain the term extraneous root so please watch this video at the end also uh, we solve this problem for two methods uh, i hope so you like both of these methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section now we move uh, towards the first method and in first method here we use the nice uh, square root uh, rule uh, you know that uh, if we have a square root of a b we write it as square root of a multiplied by square root of b so in the same pattern uh, we just break the square root of these terms and we will write it as square root of 9 into square root of a square is equals to 81 and here we know that the square root of 9 becomes 3 and uh, we write this uh, a square as a mod and its whole square is equals to 81. And now we cancel the square root sign and we will get here 3 times of square root of a is equals to 81. And now further uh, in order to find the value of a we need to uh, divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide both of the sides by 3 it will be written as in this form this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we will get here a mod is equals to here we cancelled this term and we have two three times of 2 becomes 6 and we carry 2 and it will become 21 so 3 sevens are 21 so we will get here a mod is equals to 27 so here when we uh, remove this mod or absolute sign so uh, we just write here the plus minus sign of any one of the side so we write this plus minus sign on the right hand side and we will get here the values of a is equals to plus minus 27 so there are two roots which we get here from first method and in the next step we need to uh, verify these roots and we check that is these both of these roots are satisfied our given question statement or not uh, so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is 9 times of a square equals to 81 and here we substitute a is equals to plus minus 27 at the same time and we check the behavior of this equation so when we put a is equals to plus minus 27 into the left hand side and you see here uh, we will get uh, square root of 9 times of this is a square and we put a is equals to plus minus 27 and its whole square is equals to 81 and further uh, <clears throat> you see here uh, the square root of first we can write it as 9 times of here we know that the square of plus becomes plus and the square of minus is also becomes positive uh, so these two terms are becomes positive and it will be written as 27 whole square is equals to 81 and here in the next step we write uh, this 9 as 3 square and this is 27 square is equals to 81 here we combine the square of both of these terms and it will becomes 3 times of 27 and its whole square equals to 81 this 2 and this square root are gone and we get 3 times of 27 becomes 81 is equals to 81 this shows that both of these roots are satisfied our given question statement so these are the these two roots are the solution of the given equation and uh, now here in the next step we need uh, to uh, again solve this problem for second method and 
uh, in second method first uh, we uh, need to copy down given question statement here uh, so that the given question statement is square root of 9 times of a square equals to 81 and uh, here in second method uh, first we need to uh, remove the square root sign so here we will uh, just use the technique on applying scaling on both of the sides okay uh, so we have used here the scaling technique so we apply the scaling on both of the sides you see here this two and this square root are gone and we will get here nine times of a square is equals to uh, this is 81 and its whole square so again uh, we focus in the left hand side and this is our 9 we write 9 as 3 square into a square equals to 81 square now here first we combine the square of these two terms we will get here 3 a whole square equals to 81 whole square so in order to remove the square sign we need to take the square root on both of the sides so when we will take square root on both of the sides it will be written as this 2 and this square root are gone we get here 3 times of a is equals to this 2 and this square root are gone and we will get here 81 and because we apply square root on both of the sides so that we will write here plus minus sign of any one of the side so for the value of a we need to divide both of the sides by 3 so when we divide by 3 it will be written as in this form and this 3 is cancelled out by this 3 and we will get here a is equals to plus minus these are cancelled out by each other 3 times of 2 becomes 6 we carry 2 it will becomes 21 and 3 7s are 21 so we get the values of a is equals to plus minus 21 so we will get here the same answer which we get here from first method and in the first method we all uh, already verified these values so this is the, our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos